Hello, welcome to lesson 19. We're going to talk more about consolidating multiple ranges in Excel into one pivot table. Remember last time we set some things up. We put this icon up here so we could have the wizard back and uh, got our data ready. We don't have any blank lines or blank rows, blank columns. We're all set up ready to go with our data. So today we're going to go through the wizard and show you how it works. Here's the wizard. And it says, where's the data you want to analyze? And multiple consolidation ranges is where we're going to go. And we're going to create a pivot table. So we'll click select next there. I usually create the, the page fields myself. So rather than have Excel do one for me, I'll show you how to do them so that if you wanted more than one for whatever reason, we could do that. So we'll click next. And it says, where are the worksheet ranges? Well, I'll show you. You can click this button. It'll minimize this screen. And then... The trick to selecting the ranges is to not include any totals. You'll notice I've got total expenses and total income. I've also got totals over there, but I'm not going to include any of those. What I'm going to do is start up here, and I'm just going to go to there and to there and hit Enter, and I'm going to add it. And it's, uh, I'm going to show you where another one is. I'm going to go to South. And the same thing. I don't want any totals. I just want the data. The pivot table will do the totals for me. There's the second. And let's do one more. We'll do west. And it knows now, hey, I figured out more or less where we want to be. It's correct. So I'm going to hit enter. And add. Now I've got them in here. What I want to do now is do that page field. You can do up to four, and we're just going to do one. In field one, what I want to do for north is I want to tell it what north is, I'll call north, call south, south, and west, west. And then if we go next, it says where do you want to put it? I want to put it in sheet two. So I'm going to come over here to sheet two. We'll set it about there and hit return, click finish. And Sure enough, we're done. Now you'll see we've got some issues with this pivot table we're going to have to clean up. And we can do that next time. It looks like we look at the pivot table ranges. And the way to go back and do that is to come back to the wizard. And we're going to go back. Look what I did. I got the wrong range there. So, you know what? Rather than go back and re-record this, I'm going to show you how to fix it. It should be A2. You see, I missed January, and it didn't know what to do with January. So, we're going to do that, and we're going to come and hit Enter, and go back, and I'm going to take the bad one out, and we'll fix this one as well. We're going to put this one up there, and change it to 2, and add that, and we're going to take the bad one out. Okay. Uh, today you don't just learn how to uh, um, consolidate ranges in one pivot table. You can learn how to screw, uh, fix mistakes as well. And that's how to edit the ranges. If you've got an issue with the range, you notice when I came over here, I didn't have the months up here in my column like I expected. I got these screwy numbers. And I thought, what's wrong with that? Well, I had the wrong range. Now I've got A2 to M13, which is what I want on all those. So let's click Next and finish and see if we uh, Now we have exactly what we expected. We, I'm going to hide this field list for a minute. That's what we're going to deal with next time. What I have is all of these expense categories over here. I have January through December up in my columns exactly as I expected. You see i got some negative numbers uh, that are a little bit screwy. My grand totals kind of work, but I'm not sure what that grand total is telling me. I've got page fields up here, and my field list looks a little bit screwy too. We're going to work through some of those issues and kind of clean up this consolidated pivot table in the next lecture. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.